Hello, homesteaders. Ah, uh, it's good to be with you again. We're inside my little greenhouse, which is a mess because it's a work in progress, folks. If you want to have the kind of homestead that's always perfect, you're on the wrong channel. We're always working on something. We're always changing things. And this is an addition. This is a nice greenhouse. We've really enjoyed it. But one of the problems that we have in this Colorado sun is that it overheats. And so we needed some ventilation. Well, we have to create our electricity here. So what we've done is create a little system that will ventilate this. I may have to increase the size of this. This fan may be too small. I'm still experimenting with this. But it's a really nifty little system that doesn't require batteries. So we'll show you the picture of a little 10 watt panel that we use for this. And the next thing that's really important is this little box right here. And we'll be describing that in more detail in this presentation. And what this little box does is it takes the voltage, the DC voltage, from the panel there. And this is also a DC fan. So this whole thing is DC. That's important to know. But it's not going to turn this fan on until it reaches a true 12 volts. Why is that important? Well, many appliances like fans and pumps, if you try to run them on a very low voltage, they burn up. And so you have to control that voltage, get it up to where the plants was designed to operate at a true 12 volts or more. And that's why we have to have this little box in between. So when the sun's shining, as it is right now, the fan is turning. And of course, that's when we need the ventilation in here to prevent overheating. For those of you who have greenhouses, if it gets much above 85, folks, you're not going to have any fruit because the plants shut down at about 85. And so what we have to do is keep the, the temperature in here somewhere in the 80s, but we can't let it get up into 90 and 100. That is very damaging to the plants and they simply shut down and will not produce fruit. That's what we've got here. It's about as simple as it gets. This little piece costs about 25 bucks. Got it from Amazon, gonna give you all the details on it. This little fan is another 25 bucks. This is an O2 cool fan. And I really love these because they're really quiet. They tend to last a long time. I've used a lot of them here and they are a 12 volt fan. And so I really like these guys. And if it is enough, if it creates enough ventilation to cool this off properly, then we will have two of these. One that's blowing the air in and the one at the other end is gonna be sucking the air out. Now, if these fans don't work, my next option is I'm going to go to a junkyard and I'm going to get some of the radiator fans that are on most new vehicles. You might notice that sometimes when you shut the car off, you can hear this fan just blowing and that's cooling off the radiator a little bit. And those fans are larger. They'll require a little more power. But if this won't do the job, then we will be looking at something like that. So that's our project of the week or the minute. We're always got a project going. You can check out many other projects on different YouTube presentations showing you how we use solar here on our homestead. We, there's a lot of ways you can use it and it's really great. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoy this. You can write to us. We always put our telephone number on these presentations. Give us a call, drop us an email, let us know what you're thinking. Enjoy, I'm glad that you're here. Keep your eyes on the sky, friends. I don't know when he's coming back, but I think it's pretty soon. Drop us an email. Let us know what you're thinking. Enjoy. I'm glad that you're here. Keep your eyes on the sky, friends. I don't know when he's coming back, but I think it's pretty soon.